Just the other day, I had a customer contact me and they wanted to know if we had an alternative to the usual Kuwaiko Sport fountain pen. And of course, they wanted a full size pen, didn't want anything quite as small as a Sport or a Lily Pad. And I suggested they take a look at the full size student. Now the student comes in a variety of colors. We have a transparent demonstrator. We have a black student. We also have 20s jazz with a beautiful brown cap, 30s blue with the red cap, 50s rock with the blue cap, 60s swing with the green cap, and 70s soul with the orange cap. Let's take a look at the student and see what makes it such a special pen. Okay, so here are the pens in all their color and all their glory. Uh, the first one we have is the 20s Jazz here with the brown cap. We got the 30s Blues with the red cap. And we got the 50s Rock with the blue cap. 60s Swing with the green cap. 70s Soul with the orange cap. And of course we got the Transparent Demonstrator here and also the black student here at the back. Now, the one thing to notice about the black student and the transparent student is they both have the silver or the chrome trim and the other pens have the gold trim. Now, the student is quite a traditional looking pen and uh, it's certainly classy. It's got a great feel to the body. It feels like really, really solid plastic. It's got a lovely insignia at the top and also a nostalgic looking clip, which, uh, which is similar to the nostalgic clip you may be familiar with, with the sport pens. And it's got this lovely metal band on the cap as well. Now, when you unscrew the cap and take it off the pen, you'll notice the nip section is actually a metal nib section and some people get a little bit discouraged by this because they think it's uh, it's going to be a little bit slippy in the hand and if you over grip the nib section you might find that's a problem um, but I've been using a student on and off for many years and I've never had a problem at all in fact actually the metal nib section is is quite delightful to be honest with you and the other thing you can do as well with the premium Kuwaiko pens is of course if I unscrew that, take away the spacer cartridge here, is hold the nib, give it a screw, and sure enough, the nib pops out and you can replace it with another Kuwaiko nib because they have this marvelous screw-in uh, collar mechanism as well. Also, you can use international standard cartridges because uh, Kuwaiko is an international standard pen. And of course you can use a Kuwaiko converter as well, full size converter with this pen, should you choose to use bottled ink instead. So I put the student next to a uh, Twisby swipe here and you can see that the student is, is just a touch shorter than the swipe. Uh, but don't be fooled, the, the student actually feels a little bit heavier than the swipe in the hand. And especially with the, um, the, the metal nib section, it's got a really nice feel to it. And actually the barrel of the student also has a bit of a sweep on it. So it looks like a really classy traditional pen and not quite as modern as something like the swipe or the Lamy Safari. And of course, one thing to remember with a student is it has a screw cap, so there's, uh, there's none of that clipping there. It's a, it's a really nice screw mechanism. And I've loaded this particular pen with uh, the cartridge that comes with the student as well. You get one cartridge with that. And of course, being a full-size pen, you've got plenty of room to pop in a second one and carry that around with you as well. So question is, how well does this Bok nib write? Let's find out. Oh yes, lovely pen, lovely pen. It's just the right size. Gorgeous nib. I love the um, I love the gold plated uh, Bok nibs. They write really, really well, actually. And I don't think you'll be disappointed with this pen. In fact, I'm going to cue the outro music and keep writing. And see you next time.